Hello fellow engineers. <laughs> Welcome back to the beaver game that we call Timber Borners. Uh, yes, hello fellow engineers. Welcome back to another cringy intro of the Timber Borners. <laughs> How long is this going to go on for? Uh, before we get into our city, I just wanted to... Uh, basically, someone from my Discord made a mod for this. And it's based around me. Can you believe that? I'm so proud. But uh, essentially... It works like this. So say say you want to build some. I don't know. Shall we? Let's start building our mega bridge part two. So we want a bridge. So we'll come down here. Paths and structures. And we'll say we'll start off with a little two by one. -er. Make sure we're lined up. We want to be down that path. So we want to be there. So if I click that. Boosh. Did you hear that? That wasn't me. That was not me. That was the game. <laughs> uh, so let's build some platforms for our next bit of the bridge to go on so they need to go about there so ready boosh boosh <laughs> it's ridiculous ready boosh boosh uh, i i had this i had a little go with this the other day and uh, it doesn't take long before it's very grinding but boosh all right so the next platforms have to go there ready boosh oh that was a good one do you hear that one? Oh, it looks like that's high enough sweet so we'll shove our next bit of bridge on there boosh thank you matt for booshing <laughs> Oh, bollocks, we've done it in the wrong place. <laughs> oh, no, we're going to have to delete all that now. Balls. So, yeah, that, that's a cool little mod. And uh, he also added, if you if you do quite a few. Boosh. 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 Oh, my God. The power. Oh, well, that's a good one. Boosh. 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 <laughs> you get a combo. <laughs> oh, yeah. But anyway, we're going to restart this without the mod. As good as it is, it's a bit grating for me listening to myself say boosh all the time. Especially when I just want to say it myself. I just want to put a platform down and go boosh. boosh. Well, that was weird. That was like double effect. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Captain Dapper, for making that mod. And I can't believe, like, of all the mods to create, that's one of the first ones for this game. <laughs> Oh, incredible. Right, anyway, let's get into today's episode. So last time we built this, which is like lock long. It's essentially like a tiered canal thing with a huge overflow dam at this end. Hang on, let's unpause so you can see what's going on. So this end just overflows. And these two, we sort of let water out as and when we want it. We're basically trying to keep this level down here topped up. So all of this is green. And today we're probably going to be planting this strip. Whether we go with trees or whether we go with more wheat, I'm not too sure. We will see. Uh, we might even try and get this. Get some metal mined. I'm a little bit disappointed. I've noticed over here. So this is where we last time, if we look straight down, we made this wider. Uh, sort of hoping that our power wheels would create power. But... We've since put a dam in here. So I wanted this to stay like green so that this didn't die. Uh, that seems to be a mistake because these are no longer spinning. So we might have to get rid of that dam. That's quite annoying. I'm guessing this movement is just too slow to move that. Bugger, what if we just quickly like lower that? Just let a bit more water out. Does that give it a surge? Start it moving? Yes. Will it move for long though? That is the question. No, they stop. Oh no, they're, they're sort of having a go. I think they're trying. I don't think there's enough water for them to do that though which is very annoying yeah so it means we'll have to get rid of that dam which probably means this is in completely the wrong area <laughs> i'm not sure if this is gonna grow in time also i've just noticed check out the shape of this building like like the skyline of this building is beautiful yeah i like that i like that a lot that's our that's our bakery I mean, God, that looks like a spiky chode one as well. Am I just seeing these everywhere today? Is that weird? Is that just me? Oh, no. Oh, crap. We've got floods down here. Uh, why did that flood? Okay, it seems to have fixed itself. I don't know why that flooded, though. Oh, I do know why it flooded. Because I let more water out. I gave it a surge. Yeah, if I'm ever going to fiddle with stuff, I need to lower this one first. Anyway, we are currently building this bridge. I sort of realized that after the last episode, they're going to build this end fine. But uh, we need some temporary scaffolding up to these bits. So the YouTube member side, which is this side, they're going to have to build that. And I think we'll do it by coming over here, doing a platform there and a platform there with some steps up. So now these guys, is that guy carrying a box over? Yeah, he is. Who's that? So this is Cody. He's bringing a box over and building that stuff. And then they can build like that platform and that platform, uh, which means from this side, the main bridge can be built. Because I don't think the YouTube members will build this because it requires metal blocks and they don't have any metal blocks. They, they're they quite basic. Oh God, hang on, hang on, we're flooding, we're flooding. Let's lower, let's lower one of these. So maybe the middle one we will say unsynchronize and just lower. So now that's got some water pouring out, which should... <laughs> 
back. <laughs> Which should prevent this from happening. Oh man, we're, get we're getting soggy beavers. No one wants a soggy beaver. Oh, and I've just noticed down here, Koyoko has died of old age. So for those that have been following this series from the beginning, they will know that Koyoko, although a Patreon member, the YouTube members would not have survived without him. He was bringing their valuable resources from this distribution post. And he was making the long pilgrimage over to the YouTube drop-off point uh, to ensure they, they could all live as well. So I noticed in the comments last week, people were... They feel like I'm favouring the Patreons just because I gave them houses and variety of foods and loads of good stuff. But no, if you think about it, the YouTube members have it easier because they're being gifted by the Patreons all sorts of resources. So if I really favoured the Patreons, would I make them be the YouTube, the YouTube member's slave, slave of bringing over resources? Have a think, have a think. Right, so essentially we're going to do what we were doing to start with when we were booshing about. And it's from there. So we'll do bridge there. Two platforms there. They've got to be triples and then doubles to get the right height. And then another double there. And then we can use our massive sixer. That can go there. And then I think, is it over that staircase? I think it might be over that set of stairs for the next ones. Yep, yeah, that fits perfect. Nice. We'll do another triple. And then we've got to work out how far that is. Can we get away with two twos again? No, we might need a three. Okay, yeah, we might have to unlock that. That's 400 science points, uh, but it unlocks the three by one bridge, which I think should fit. I've literally looked at it for a split second, so <laughs> I'd recommend before spending any money, you actually evaluate whether it's worthwhile, but in this case, we're just going to say yes. All right, so now we've got that. You can see this bridge is slightly longer, so we can put that one in there. And then if we delete that path, we can put another one there and look at that perfect fit. We'll just connect those up and lovely we got another bridge and it goes through the shaming area all right so that is gonna be amazing the trouble is at the moment it's sort of i've done this a bit like an architect if i'm honest i've decided yes i want a bridge let's build a bridge but there's no purpose for it yet there's no <laughs> there's literally nothing up here and there's nothing over here either so what we're gonna do we're gonna try and make it a bit more practical so think over here we do want to turn this pump back on and i might try going into landscaping and then just putting the dam pieces across here i don't want this to be adjustable i think i just want it to fill up a certain amount and then over spill if required so we'll path over that and then that should at least make this be green so it should be a bit of a nicer area for them still completely pointless but shush uh, meanwhile over here how can we get this involved i'm sort of thinking maybe up here when these beavers get up there, it should be like a nice sort of social area. So if we head into leisure, which we haven't really touched before with these guys, uh, perhaps we can build some of this stuff. Yes, we could build a temple up there. That makes perfect sense. So let's unlock the temple. It costs 300 science points. Whoa, look at that. And then that will go up there. Maybe I'll put it on stilts. I feel like it needs to be higher. But first off, we're going to have to get rid of these trees. So mark for demolition so see you later trees because this isn't high enough as it is it's, it's got to be higher so we'll do stairs there and a platform and then more stairs and how will that fit oh that will fit perfectly there all right so i'm actually going to use levees to make my platform i feel like they're a bit more spiritual for a beaver so how big was it i think it was like that big five by five so we'll make sure those tree removings are on high priority so we'll just say that one that one that one oh, and, and these outer ones Actually, just all the trees. All the trees, high priority, get rid of them first. And yeah, then I want to do an extra sort of... I'm always making it like a pyramid. And then the actual temple will go on this bit. Yeah, the temple will sit on there. Lovely. I'll tell you what, priority tool. I might make these outer ones lesser priority. And that's cool. It actually, show, it's got like different shades of green to show you how prioritized things are. Nice. All right, but they won't be able to get up there until the bridge is completed. But nice, that's looking good. Um, I've noticed we've got six unemployed beavers. What district is that in? Okay, so five of them are patrons, so we've got to find five more jobs. Now, looking at resources, again, it's the logs that we're struggling with. Are these guys still logging? Oh, that one's being built still. Oh, and that one's being built. Let's prioritize these lumberjack flags, and we can have a couple more jobs up there. Yeah, but otherwise, can we just up the haulers? We can up one hauler there. So Ryan Kramer has now joined these guys, and I quite like <laughs> this guy here. He is a hauler, and obviously he has the name to suit. Haul in the big one. <laughs> oh god look at food food's being completely slaughtered we have farmers oh man we might need to get some potatoes going maybe over here yeah because the wheat still has a few days left 
Or actually, shall we just wheat up everything? Because I feel like staggering might be quite a good idea now. Yeah, let's do that. We'll turn the farmhouse back on. Now, Fly Monkey and Johnny Tar have gone in there. We'll go to plant wheat. I think basically we're just going to fill in all the gaps. Now, we should probably get someone to remove those trees as well. Let's get all these trees dug up. And then same with those ones as well. And then a few more gaps of wheat. And we're all good. You can see they are planting away. They are very efficient. Got to give them that. Yeah, but that should get our food levels up, especially now potatoes are being farmed. How are the early potatoes? Oh god, they're not very grown. So I just noticed we had a new birth over in the YouTube member, so I just typed this person in. And I just realised we got 69 YouTube members! Nice. Uh, thank you, I'll do my best to fill you guys all in. Unfortunately, we've only got 21 beavers at the moment, so there's a bit of a queue. A bit of a waiting limit. Oh my god, look at the bridge! They've built half of it. Oh, they've done all this side as well. This bridge is nearly complete. Oh man, I'm so excited. That is going to look amazing. Uh, something I realized though, they're not going to be able to build those platforms without getting down there. What we might have to do, it's a bit annoying really, trying to figure out the cheapest way of doing this. But I think it's going to be platforms across there and then a two platform there. I think that's the cheapest way of doing it. And then if we just path over to that, and they can build those platforms to get across. And then they build that platform. And then they can build down and at level. So that should be everything. And that will allow them to build the bridge from this end. Yeah, I think that's all good. I mean, we could even get them started up there. Should we just put a single platform like there? And then stairs up. Because I think this is going to be quite a lot of logs. So as long as they can get up there pretty quick, we should be good. Now, I can see we're struggling on planks though. So I might pause the logs. Where is our... Yeah, our gear workshop down under thunder is in there. I'm sorry, mate. You are fired. And during the last episode, the stream highlights, I realized down in decoration, there's things like these. So there's benches and shrubs. There's all sorts of roofs that you can put on top. Yeah, but there's also this one, which is really important. The beaver statue. A statue of a hardworking beaver. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh. Uh, that satisfies aesthetics within three tiles. If we click on a beaver like this one, so liquid E, you can see if we go down to aesthetics and hover over that, that increases working speed by 10%. So I'll tell you what, it might be worth just building one of them. It takes 30 metal blocks. We've got 156. Oh, that's what our main bridges are built out of. Who's in the shredder at the moment? Eight equals D. Oh, it's the knob guy. Because uh, we've got so much scrap metal, but not really enough metal blocks. I don't know. Anyway, I was thinking if we build this statue. So yes, unlock for 500 science. And it's got like an area on it. So I think beavers just have to pass through it in order to get the perk. And what I'm thinking is not many beavers will go over in that direction. They'll all come this direction. And we've got double-sided housing. So if I focus on this side and make sure like this road here is covered. Or I just put it on top of all the houses. Yeah, sod it. Let's shove it up there. I was actually going to build on top of this, but maybe I won't. Maybe we'll just bung that on top. Can they even build that? I don't know if they can build that. <laughs> Damn it. Why do I never think things through? All right, let's move that then. I can't be asked to do stairs and all sorts. I think we'll just shove it there maybe. So you can get to that and that should cover both halves. It's just if people start using that road, they won't. But I can always dig up that road. Maybe I'll do that. But for now, I think that's good. That is fine. Anyway, last time we sort of tried to make this lake deeper. So we covered the bottom in dynamite. If I come to this button here, you can actually like make the water see through. So, oh, they've I made mean, quite a dent down there in the old dynamite. So fair play. We'll, le we'll leave them doing that. I think they've got that under control. So over in our YouTube member, I've just increased the number of haulers. So now all these guys are hauling in there. Good work. And look, it's a momentous day. The bridge is complete. Yes. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. Right, it's a new morning in Beaverton, and check out over here, we have wheat! That's really deep, I love that. Why, why do I like that so much? Uh, anyway, our little beavers, who is that? Flying monkey, look, he's harvesting the wheat. Uh, which means we need to turn on our gristmill. So, gristmill, you're going on. Oh, and check what I've just found out. I think it's a glitch. I think I've glitched this, but uh, this is an engine. It produces power for the adjacent buildings, like the lumber mill, that require power. So, if we come to here, you can see we've got this building prioritized by haulers. So, essentially, they're bringing these over, these logs, uh, which the engine uses as fuel. Now, obviously, to run this, the logs can't just put themselves into the furnace or however it works. Uh, there's a beaver in here, and this one, it's Kali Pavlovsky. So, they're slaving away inside. However, I've just sort of found a glitch, I think, where you can pause that 
you can see the engine stops. But if we unpause, you see there's no worker in there because there's no unemployed beavers in the district, but it's producing power again. So that's a bit of a sneaky way to get some free employees working for us. Um, unfortunately, in our grist mill, Ryan ML is in there. Uh, there's, there's no power. It's not working. So we could do the engine trick again, but I think instead we're just going to delete this dam because I think that's what ruined everything. Now, I know that's going to cause a water surge, but hopefully with this floodgate open over here, that shouldn't cause any flooding downstream. Let's see what happens. So delete. Yes, delete. And we're going to put a platform back on top. So in there, platform, path on top. Get some water moving down there. All right, nice. Now we're powering the grist mill. Ryan is turning wheat into flour. And then Kelly, who is now a baker, they are taking that flour, putting it in the building, and using logs as their fuel, they will create bread. Oh, no, no. Boarhound has died of old age. He was one of our earliest YouTube members. We had such great memories with him. He used to carry boxes, carry logs, carry barrels of water, sit on his ass, but not anymore. You will be missed, Boarhound, and you will be remembered. Do not worry. Now, but look at this. We've just put its icy up in the pumping area now that our dam is complete. So this should be nice and green up here. And the question is, what do we do with it? Do we plant trees or do we plant food? I feel like we've got quite a lot of food. These guys are pretty self-sufficient now. I think they've just got nowhere to store their food. Yeah, so maybe they need another storage. So let's plonk that there. Because yeah, they're just leaving boxes of carrots around everywhere. And they've also got a fair amount of logs over here as well. Fair play, guys. The YouTube members, they are proved me wrong. They are... <laughs> They have got their shit together now. Uh, Patreons, they're sort of slacking a bit. Like, this bridge is taking forever. What is going on? It's just the planks. We're really low on planks. How many planks do we have? Yeah, that's not good. At least the logs are going up now. And uh, thanks to these guys, the old food situation is getting a bit better as well. I'm just going to fill in that square of potatoes. Just because every little spud helps. Now, I might even do that little strip as well. Yeah, I am loving our bridge though. Although, bloody hell, three days until the drought is coming. Do we have enough water everywhere? So YouTube members, they only have 33 water. Maybe we need to pause this. Like, it looks so nice. It's so green, but I think we're just wasting water. They seem to not drink water. They seem to prioritize the water dump. So I think we will pause you. I'm sorry. I'll tell you what, I've noticed it's like daytime and there's actually, there's hardly any beavers up here. I think that's because they're carrying logs like to a storage pile. Yeah, so if we click on this and we say, Joseph Topanko, where are you? He's over there carrying a log all the way to the logging pile. So I think what we need to do, we need to build like some log storage up here. So if we bung one there, we'll have to demolish that tree. But uh, now you can see how that works. So we've got the path going over to it. They're just building. Oh, look, it's nearly built. It's nearly built. So now, hopefully, all the loggers that are up here, rather than heading all the way. Back, blame Sulis. What are you doing? <laughs> He works at Lumberjack, but I think he just started carrying that log before we built this. But what I'm hoping will happen is these loggers will just start filling this up instead. Let's speed up and see if they actually do that. Yes, yes, they put a log in there. Look, can you see? There's a log. There's a few more logs. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so hopefully that's made chopping down trees a lot more efficient. But yeah, that's good. Right, so we've only got 0.9 days until the dry season. You can see down here, because I've lowered this floodgate, there's enough water going through that's allowing these wheels to turn and to make power for our grist mill. Uh, the thing is, because the dry season is coming, I'm probably going to have to shut this down. Because uh, basically I want all of this to store water. Oh man, I really want a dam there. Tell you what, I'm actually going to put a small floodgate there. Yes, they won't be able to use that path anymore. Uh, but it will allow us to store water there. Yeah, but basically I'm gonna I'm gonna start raising this now. So I'll go up to 0.5 for now. And then when the dry season properly hits, this will go up to one. So it should store water in this little this little channel. And then if it dries up down here, I can just slowly let that through. Now, ideally I want them to build this in time. I don't think it's gonna get built, but we will see. And yeah, essentially I think I'll close these in order. So that one first, then that one then that one and then I'll probably close this one at the end as well I might even do that now so that back up to two and a half let's lower those a little bit let some water out oh god it's a proper tidal surge <laughs> right that's filled up pretty nicely so we'll pause that and that's allowing water to flow down here <laughs> and that should fill this up I love the water physics in this game I said it exactly at the same location as last time that is filling up also up here that's dried out already so that's really not ideal yeah, but that's way more topped up that's good unfortunately two more YouTube members have died Matty Patty and Hello and His uh they dead they are dead <laughs> 
in a word. Oh no, it's the final evening. What do we do? I'd like to think food situation is back under control. We got a thousand food. Water is also pretty good. So I think we might do the old pausing of the water pumps. We'll leave those four running down there. I'm not gonna lie, I do feel really bad for these YouTube members being completely homeless. Like, look at them all. They're so cute. And one just sleeps over here all the time. Killer Sue 30. It's because everyone doesn't like his name. So they're all like, we'll all sleep together and safety in numbers and all that. Killer guy is on his own. Oh, there's a little baby one just on the side. Ryan Webb. And then, oh, careful. Bloody hell, who's that? Be careful, Jason. The floodwaters are coming. <laughs> Oh man, Jason is at serious risk of drowning in his sleep. Oh, but look, he's about to become an adult. How exciting. All right, wake up. Wake up, Jason. Phew, he woke up. It's fine. All right, pause, pause, pause. So the droughts has started, which means over here at our water source, it no longer creates water. So what I want to do is stop that floodgate. We probably need to pause the grist mill worker. And tell you what, I think I want to lift up all the floodgates. So all of those are max level. Let's see what that does. You can see the water shut off there, shut off there. And it's no longer coming out there either. So that should keep this wheat nice and green. My sort of thinking is if this water does dry up, hopefully I can just open that floodgate and let a bit more down. Now yeah, we've stopped those water pumps so the water there should be fine it should keep this area green for the most part i feel like here we've got loads of trees again i think this could be another area that could benefit from a log pile so if we go to storage and put another log pile in like there that should be closer for all of them surely uh, right, oh we've got quite a flood down here i think that's fine though to be honest so all of this is good. Should we run out of water down here? Which doesn't look like at the moment, but I'm sure that will go down eventually. We can just let more waters out of our tiered system. I um, mean, you know, oh, we've had so many beavers grow up. Look at this. So many more people we can put to work. We got 10 unemployed beavers. That's because Ryan and Jason grew up in the YouTube members. We've also got Javier, Chris. Oh God. Okach Lawof. <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that really badly. <laughs> St. Francis Dam. We need to find a new dam to build and put you on that, sir. Uh, Mook's Mischief, Joshua, and Nectarside. I tell you what, guys. I think I'm going to put you all to work as scientists. Your first job can be a summer job. All right, then we're just going to leave three of you unemployed, I think. Oh, no. We've actually got some homeless Patreons. We can't have that. <laughs> I need to prioritize this over everything. Sorry, YouTube members. Oh, man. What do we actually do here? I, I want to try out the new housing. There's like different housing opportunities. We've got a row house and a large row house. Shall we try one of these out? Let's try. Let's see what a row house looks like. So we'll unlock you. Yes, please. Oh, look, it's really it's tall and slim like me. <laughs> oh, it's actually taller than the other ones. That's cool. Oh, yeah, let's put two of them like there. And then we'll do a little path to that as well along the top like that. That's pretty nice, isn't it? I tell you what, I might even put a roof on this. I feel like that's as tall as that needs to be. If we come into decoration, we've got all sorts of roofs. So I think we want a two by two for that one. And that also satisfies aesthetics. Though annoyingly, that's what a beaver statue does. Oh, well. So yes, please unlock that. And we can bung that on top. But look, we've got our first ever pointed roof. So when it rains, if it ever rains in this game, the water won't just go straight into the house. It'll actually come down the tiles. Awesome. All right, the other thing I was thinking of doing down in monuments, it's also this, a laborer monument, which satisfies all one. It costs a thousand science though, and then it'll cost 200 logs to build. But if we click on a random beaver like actually Emmy here, we can see what all one would do. And all one increases working speed. Ooh, that could be quite useful actually. How are you getting on anyway, actually Emmy? Are you all right? Your nutrition too ain't too bad. But yeah, you're pretty good. You're very aesthetically pleased. I think that's because we built an amazing bridge over here. And oh, look, we built half of this amazing bridge as well. Uh, so yeah, let's let's unlock the monument. And oh, that is a huge area. All right, I think I might just shove that on the log pile like that. Can they can they build that? They can build that. Nice. It just takes 200 logs. So that will make everything a lot faster to build. Like, oh god, look over here. Our scrap metal supply is nearly done. Fair play. Who is that? Raven the Depressed 83. <laughs> and the God King Emperor of Beaver Kind. Yeah, I'm sorry you're you're put to work scavenging. I mean you probably expected to have this sort of treatment, but um <laughs> Sorry about that. But uh, Raven the Depressed, an 83-year-old still carrying boxes around like that. Fair play. So pleased we finished a bridge. That has made me immensely happy. And this one is very close too. People can walk along the shaming area throwing rotten eggs at the dirty, dirty shamers of Beaverton. But yeah, peace, love, and super uber mega bridges. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.